What's up, y'all? I am back again with another video, and I'm and I'm so sorry, y'all. I didn't get a chance to do any more reactions because I've been doing I've been doing like a lot of stuff, and you know, like working overtime, Christmas shopping, and all that type of stuff. I've been doing. The only reason I've been doing a, f a few short clips because I ain't the reason why I wasn't at home. So today I'm gonna be doing like probably like two, like three edges, three three videos today for y'all today. So, I hope y'all guys have an amazing day. So, I'm going to react to this video. I'm going to read the title for y'all. Hold on, what's up? Karen's fighting at McDonald's for 17 minutes straight. So, this is, is going to be good, y'all. So, y'all know to do. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and make sure you don't miss another video. And let's get into it. The drive through worker lost it and decided to spice things up by tossing a drink at the not so polite customer. Real class act by both parties. Did you talk to Whoa! Don't talk to him. Yo, look at that dog. He threw all that at us. What? Is that a coin? Look at that coin. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna win. And we are moving the car from here. That's fine. We're getting a report right now. Burger King is gonna have to pay us. Hello? Burger King is gonna have to pay us. Where the are we located? Where we at? And the Yo, what's the address? We're moving. Karen is giving a live performance at the drive-thru, holding up the line, screaming at a lady, and basically challenging her to a duel. People came for fries, but they're getting a show instead. Just get in the car. They're not finna do nothing, baby. They're not finna do nothing. Go get your oh, in the ain't no fat on this. Ain't no fat on this. Baby, you sexy. You not fat. Oh, Period. <laughs> you sexy too, little mama. The workers at the restaurant completely freeze when a lady complains about finding a cockroach in her little daughter's fries under a napkin. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. You guys may not want to eat here. There's a roach in here. I swear. Look, lift up the napkin. Excuse me. Excuse me. Lift up this napkin. Lift up the napkin. I gave it to my baby. I'm shaking. I'm sorry about this. She ate a nugget already. I'm so... 
I'm so scared. <laughs> These Karens try to steal a parking spot, and when the guy confronts them, they start acting racist, all with their kids in the back of the car. What are you guys doing? This lady was here first, and you're soaring in, fr in front of kids and everything? That's very nice. Don't you have a child in the car? Yeah, and I'm showing them what people are, you are doing. It's wrong. Wow, look at that. Look at that. So you guys could easily back up now. Someone even told you. Don't worry, we're going to post this on YouTube so everybody could see. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have video to you. Wow, look at this little, look at this lack of respect. You come near me? I'm, I'm not coming near you. I'm, I'm not coming the near you. Then get your f***ing camera out of my face. Uh-huh, yeah? Yeah. Go back to your You have lots of company. respect. Oh, go back to my country? No, go back to my country. Oh, he racist. Country. Go back to my country. Go back to my country. This is, I am in my country. I never said anything to you. <laughs> Go back. Oh. Okay. I'm going to be honest. First of all, like, that woman should have never said that. She should have never said that. You see, you see, you see, this is the reason why these type of people need to watch. They need to say in front of kids. They need, they, even most, even most of these type of people need to watch and learn not to swear in front of kids. And these kids and these kids out there saying stuff and they ain't got no business, it's coming from the parents. Cause parents out here act like they ain't got no sense. I know I know some people got issues, but they need they, but they need to learn not to swear in front of kids and learn how to not to be racist. That's not right. Come on, man. Let's get back into it. Oh, and you have a kid in the back. Oh my god. Jesus. Yeah. Unbelievable. These entitled Karens waited 20 minutes at the drive-thru, clueless that the system was down. When the workers finally break the news, they decide it's the perfect time to start a drama-filled rant. So, and this is the behavior we're getting after being in the drive-thru for 20 minutes. 20 minutes. I don't want minutes, free right? food, honey. I have money. That's not the issue. The issue is the girl closed the door on me. What she said was they were supposed to have headsets on. As we, there were four or five cars sitting in the driveway for 20 minutes, literally. And I watched an employee walk in and walk out. She drives that red SUV right there. I believe it was her because I remember her it jacket. Was. And then they act as if that's not. Mobile games are going big. Free Fire Max is now. It's not, that's not corporate standards, I'm sure. From the back when I was banging on your door. Wait, but I exactly. called twice. Call and then we twice. called. Nobody answered the yeah. phone. We called and called and let it ring, 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 which that'll be in my phone contact, so clearly. So for her to come to the window and say, well, they were supposed to have headsets on after yeah. having people sitting there for 20 minutes, told us we that's not corporate her. standards, and I'm sure of that. Mm -hmm. And then she slammed the door. And I don't know everybody else's names, but I'm sure the general manager will see, look at the schedule. What's the right. door number? Because once I send it to corporate, they're going to contact her anyway. What is the store so, number? So, what, what is the store this? number? National number? Like y'all's store 32 number. 32485. 32485. All right. Thank you, Keisha. Have a good night. I appreciate you. You back, You might want to get on the rest of them, though, because they wrong. They wrong. Thank you. Bye-bye. This dude brings a homeless guy to the restaurant, buys him some food. However, the workers freak out, call the cops on them. And here comes Karen Cop acting all tough like she's saving the day. He didn't even ask me for food. I, I brought him from outside. You guys suck for giving him a trash can. Yes, you did. You suck. You suck. Sir, please Sir what? Tell me your voice. That's what I'm asking. This is how I talk. I talk loud. If the officer has a problem with that, the officer is going to arrest me. Sir, you're being disorderly. I'm not being disorderly. Yes, you are. The guy, did, he didn't ask me for food. Uh, okay. And I saw him across the street, and I brought him over here and gave him food. Okay, we're here because apparently he's asked multiple people, okay? Multiple people have complained, so it's not just you, okay? If management is asking you to quiet down... I'm just asking you to quiet down. down. I don't even know what's going on, but we're yelling. What's going on is you That's suck. That's inappropriate. You suck. Yeah, yeah I brought him over. I brought him over. Sir, as soon as they off, saw him, no, no, he's not getting food. He's off, not getting sir. food. I paid sir, for his food. Sir, he's sir, getting sir, food. Sir, sir. Calm down. I understand your compassion for others. I do. But you do not have to raise your voice that way. Especially the if I, I have to come back to you again. 
And I ain't never coming back here again. Hell that's, no. that's fine with me. But right now, you do need to calm your voice. That's all. That suck. Can I get your name, please? Can I get your name, please? I would like you to leave, sir. All right. Can you just provide him with information? I'm getting kicked out of here because I gave a homeless guy food, by the way, guys. Just so you know, I gave a homeless guy food. They're kicking me out. Yes, because you need to kick him out. No, because I'm being loud, because I'm telling you what you did was wrong. Hey, listen, you have, you have to leave. You have to leave. Yeah, I'll probably end up okay. going to jail. That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to go to jail. Yeah. I'm asking you nicely. Yeah, I want to I sit here and finish my food. So then I want a refund. You don't, you don't have that. But when I... When, I'm that, that, listen, why, why I'm not here. I'm not here to argue with you. I am the law, okay? You need to get your stuff and leave. That is all, okay? You want a refund, you got to go through corporate. I am not corporate. I am here to tell you, get your stuff okay. and leave. Can I get my receipt, please? I want my receipt. I, you got it? You got it. No, I, don't, I didn't get a receipt. May I get a receipt, please? Can you believe it? This barefoot Karen in the restaurant is going absolutely nuts, harassing the workers like crazy. She even had the nerve to start a fight, throwing things at them. This male Karen is causing a whole drama in the restaurant, playing the victim just to get a refund. And oh boy, he really didn't appreciate it when another customer called out his little act. This place is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. They screw up and then they say they're not going to refund. Watch my mouth, they broke my watch. Well, I guess this guy's not going to let me order. <laughs> it is not your opinion uh, for here, to tell please. me what I could do. You just mind your own business back there. I understand you have a child. You understand what I'm saying to you, ma'am? Mind your own business. And I don't need this dollar, whatever I want my money back. What's this dollar? You understand even what I'm trying to communicate to you? You wonder why I'm aggravated? What's the dollar fifty? Okay. I'm at the ease, I'm gonna say this to y'all. But this man is being this is being fucking ridiculous right now. See, these see, I'm gonna I'm gonna smile, ease, I'm gonna explain this to y'all. These are these type of people are so fucking ignorant. Over some like I'm gonna say look, I'm gonna ease, I'm gonna say this right. And sometimes McDonald's or Burger King, sometimes if they get your if you if you if something's missing from the item, you all you gotta do is tell the customer you're only missing one item. That's what you have to do. Or or. Or like, or like, it's something like, because I'm going to say this, right? But they can't give you a full refund. You just rather take the food, keep the change, and stop complaining and keep walking. Like, these damn people, yeah, these damn people really are fucking, fucking retarded. They are really are fucking annoying. Get on my damn, like, and I'm going to say this to y'all. I hope y'all don't get yourselves into this shit like this. Because these people are fucking annoying. Check this out. The guy at the drive-thru was so charming that the worker decided not to give him his drink. After a little back and forth, she hands him his drink, but he tosses it right back at her. We just want our pop. Can we get our coke? Are we gonna hold up the line all night till we get our coke? We're gonna hold up the line until we get our coke. Can you give us our pop? For. You in there talking about our gift card. You are in there talking about our gift card. Like, what's wrong with the gift card? I didn't say nothing to I heard you talking about our gift card. Hey, my man, I'm a grown ass man. Can, can we I just get, get our coat? pop? My man, can I get my coat, bro? My They're coming straight in. Trust me, I've got.
back then. We just want our pop. Well, can I get my money back? Can I get my money back? Well, can I get my coke then? Okay. She's talking really negative. She's swearing. Take that coke now. Well, no, he this did. guy finds flies in his drink, and when oh, he confronts sorry. the worker about it, she's talking really negative. She's swearing. Take that coke now. Okay, number one, that was wrong. I would have never did. Like, oh, first of all, that is just just not the way. That's not the way to throw stuff at people. First of all, if you purchase things, do not throw stuff at people. That's is just wrong. If you if you out there and you out there sit you out there sit there complaining and I'm gonna say this too it does take up it does take up a lot lot to fix to fix all the food like all all the fries and the chicken nuggets and all that type of stuff but I know it does a while but even most people need to stop judging people need to stop judging people about their job and you need and like and y'all sit here and you had but say you and like and I'm gonna say this to you, right? That man didn't have no damn business throwing that drink at that woman like that. I don't like that because no more if y'all wanna sit there, if y'all wanna complain, y'all ordering food from McDonald's and y'all ordering food from McDonald's, why y'all can't just go y'all why y'all can't why y'all can't just stop spending y'all money on food and cook and cooks like what's on the table and can, like just cook your own damn food instead of buying instead of buying food, y'all sit there complaining. Come on, man. This guy finds flies in his drink, and when he confronts the worker about it, the worker tries to shrug it off like it's not a big deal, and has the nerve to get annoyed at him. The doors and yeah. down the road from here is a strawberry patch. We have no control over that. We have stuff hanging in the store as far as like whatever fly traps McDonald's have out. But if once y'all keep coming through the doors, like the entry doors, it brings flies. But they fly. So not, flies so come not. from maggots. Flies don't fly that far. Flies come from rotten right, stuff. Right, but it's a strawberry field down the road. Here, That's down the road. This right, ain't. But it's still a, they'll fly this way, and it's been like this for uh, years. How come they're not at Wendy's across the street? I don't know. How come they're not at the gas station across the street? How come they're not at that gas station? I don't but work over here. I'm just saying, you work here, and you can't. Right, I mean, but we've been having that problem for years. I, so I, I just came. Stuff I just came last so week, and there weren't flies in here. I'm not gonna argue this. I had a fly come out of my cup. Come out of my cup. Like, that's not excusable in any way, shape, or form for a fly to come out of something that's been prepared by you guys. Period. Oh, ridiculous. Yeah. Can you believe it? This male Karen disses a worker at the restaurant and then has the audacity to ask for service. They straight up denied a service to him. Tom, here's my receipt, yo. Come here, bro, 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 come here. Bro, brother, brother, hot. Yo, bro, hot top face, come here. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you, you, you wanna see it? They don't care about you your receipt you after you've done insulted her. You, you, you need to just go. Hey, yo, calm down, stay up, my friend, man. Bro, okay? All right, then, I thought so. So next time, you know what you're talking about before you f***ing accuse somebody of some bullshit like that, okay? You work at McDonald's, okay? I'm retired and I'm 45. I don't, I don't got a f***ing work. You, you want to, you want to, you, you know what I'm saying? Just shut your f***ing mouth next time. Shit. Hey, yo, there's nobody back there that can, that can I deal with this. Calm down. Bitch, I train jiu-jitsu and Muay Thai, homie. Professional fighters. I train with pros, this worker at the drive thru straight up denies service to a guy because he dropped his food. When the guy asked for a refund, saying his hands were shaking due to his disease, this worker is like a brick wall. No reasoning at all. And now you're denying me service because of it? It's one thing to shake, it's another thing to drop it before the hand even reaches it. It's Dude, like you are, you are bad, man. So you're denying me service because of my disease. Because you threw it, not because of a disease. I didn't I throw it, I didn't throw it, I did not throw it. it. I and I hope person. I hope they check your cameras because like so I said, I'm gonna call corporate. Right well, I'm gonna, gonna call I corporate, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, sure. Well, I hope you could defend yourself pretty good because yes, that's, 
That's a pretty pretty bad look on on your end, that's for sure. Yeah, on my end it will look bad, but I reached for a thing and you threw it. Right. I and you said your name was what again? Can you believe it? Karen's having a full-on meltdown at the restaurant over a burger. The worker is just trying to talk calmly, but Karen's turned it into a circus act. At this point, I'm not call the police! Ma'am? So at this point, you can't make the point. No, I'm not. He's been a dick! Or have you been yes, respectful? I have. If yes, you I were, have. I would have never had to get out of the park! Wow. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all. These damn people are fucking crazy. Over some damn... Yeah, these people... Like, these people ain't acting like they ain't got no sense. They don't. And I'm gonna say... I'm gonna say this to y'all. If y'all wanna... Or if y'all better buy... If y'all... If y'all food... If y'all got food at home, stop wasting time ordering food from McDonald's. And I'm gonna say this to you. Don't get me wrong. I did saw that part that it had a cockroach inside that. Okay, they got to get that place inspected. Like, and I'm going to say this way. That's a place of business. You're supposed to cook food and because guess what? That, everything, everything in the kitchen and McDonald's needs to be 100% clean. They got to be, that because, and like, I'm going to say this to you, right? And I would have never ate this shit because guess what? You know you realize, you know you realize a p McDonald's can easily get a lawsuit from someone because guess what? They can get sued. If like if you have that if you have a cop if you got cockroaches inside of a restaurant and it's never been inspected, that's a like that's gonna be bad. McDonald's because that's so many lawsuits, even some restaurants have never been clean, hundred percent clean. And I'm gonna let y'all and I'm gonna let y'all I'm gonna let y'all know this. Don't argue. While you at McDonald's, just buy your food, take your receipt, take your change, and keep moving. So, anyway, I want to thank y'all guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. I hope y'all guys had a beautiful Christmas, and I will see y'all guys in the next time video. Peace.